Uh, being a Moose to me has meant a lot over the last four years. Um, I've been able to create a whole other family. Um, and that was one of the biggest things that was said to me when I was being recruited here was how this whole team and the whole school is all like a big family. Um, so it's been really great to create those relationships that I know will last a lifetime. Being a Moose has meant to me family because I transferred in last year at the semester. So I missed the whole first half of the season and I was still welcomed in with open arms and everyone accepted me and made sure that I felt comfortable on the team. To play for the Moose, it's honestly meant a lot to me. Being a senior and coming in kind of fresh, I was a little worried about the relationships I was going to build and all that. But this, uh, this team and everybody that supports our team has become like a family to me. So it's been one of the best years of my college career. My most memorable moment would be this past weekend. We went to New York and the New York trip is always a little crazy. And we stayed at a hotel that was a little scary. <laughs> and there was a top floor and the whole team dared me to go up to the top floor that was like not finished. And <laughs> they all thought it was haunted and there was like a black curtain. And I like went behind the black curtain and everyone was like, I love you soon, bye. <laughs> Something crazy that happened to us was me, Butters, and Haley Paquette. We met Coach um, in Waterville before a game, and there was an accident in like the little plaza area that we were parked. So we couldn't like he couldn't get in with the bus, and he and we couldn't get out with our cars. So we called Coach, and he told us to run <laughs> on the side of the road and up the on ramp to get onto the bus to go to our game in Bangor. So I think that's the craziest moment. <laughs> Um, I would have to say winning our first game um, in Virginia at Nationals. Um, the UMA, neither the men or the women's team, I don't believe, had ever won a game at the National Tournament. They'd gone before but never won. Um, and we kind of came back in that game. We were down by quite a bit and we ended up coming back to win it. So um, I would say that's my most memorable moment because one, we won the first game ever for the women's team and we were able to advance in the tournament. I think a memory that'll stick with me is preparing for CM, I think, because we, I think that's the game that we all kind of came together and we're our closest as a team. And we pushed each other that whole week of practice to get ready for it. And I think just coming together and building all those relationships that we have now, it was really special. The person who's given me the most support is definitely my dad. Um, i played basketball ever since I was big enough to hold one, and ever since then he has been my personal coach, my therapist, my personal trainer, doctor, all of the above. He um, has just given me unconditional love and support all the years I've played basketball, and he has chased me all over the country, playing in different states for different travel teams, different coaches, um, and I just I couldn't be more thankful for all the time and money he's put in to my basketball career. The person who has motivated me uh, throughout my entire basketball career has been my dad. He was my coach when I was younger and he is just amazing. He's a great coach and he would always take me to the gym and we'd work out together. So he's the reason that I'm even playing college basketball. The mo I think the most influential person in my life is my dad. Um, he's he still plays basketball until he's like 40, but you know, um, <laughs> he, showed, he showed me how to be like the hard worker, leader, and has helped me be the basketball player that I am today, so. The aspect of the game that I can bring into the rest of my life, I guess would be mental toughness. I think that's always important. Like when you're going to get a job, if you don't get it, you can't just crumble. If you don't win a game, you can't just crumble. Um, I think, the biggest thing I've learned on the court to take into the classroom is how teamwork is, how important teamwork is. Um, being able to work with others and kind of pushing each other through the hard times is a major key, especially in the classroom. Uh, teammate to me means being there for your teammates on and off the court, not just um, encouraging them on the court and being a leader, but also being there as a friend off the court and listening to each other and trusting each other. 
Um, and like I said before, just creating that bond and that family type of relationship with everybody. The word teammate means being there for each other. I think that's the most important part because when games and life and school gets hard, you should always know that your teammates will have your back and they're there for you to lean on. Thank you for the endless love and support even when I wasn't able to give my all. Um, to my teammates, thank you for always being there to pick me up and push me past limits I didn't know that I had. Um, coaches, family, just thank you guys for making these last four years the best four years of my life. I couldn't be more grateful. Bye, UMA. Thank you for making my last year so memorable. Um, I love you all and good luck next year. I want to say thank you to my family for supporting me through all of my college career and thank you to my team for being the best teammates ever and thank you to my coach for being a great coach and anyone else who's ever helped me. Thank you UMA, see you at Nationals.